The slide uh, that's partially destroyed and uh, yet uh, labeled uh, malaria okinete uh, from a mosquito uh, was prepared by taking the stomach out of a newly infected mosquito and smearing that stomach contents onto the slide and then staining it. And what you'll see in that material, in addition to kind of the, all the crud that's that's present from the from the stomach contents, you'll also see the banana-shaped okinetes that appear much like the macrogametocytes that we saw in the, in the in the blood smear. At the end of the pointer is one of those okinetes. Because of the sl the slide is is taped together, it, it doesn't stay in focus very well. The main thing I want you to to understand is is uh, number one how that s the slide was prepared, and number two why we're we're referring to this as a okinete now. The other little circles that are present obviously are red blood cells that haven't been completely digested yet. This slide that I'm that I'm uh, I've got under the microscope now is labeled malaria oocysts, and what this actually consists of is a, is a mosquito uh, foregut or and midgut that contains the oocysts from uh, Plasmodium falciparum, and that the these oocysts are embedded in the wall of that mid-gut. If you look all along the surface or all along the, the uh, stomach, uh, you'll notice the, the black dots and those dots are actually the oocysts. And then finally, if you uh, look for a fairly long period of time, and are very fortunate you may be able to, to stumble onto these structures. Uh, these are the sporozoite stage from Plasmodium falciparum, and this is labeled the uh, sporozoites of malaria. You can you can notice in, in here the the long uh, spindle shaped structures that uh, would come out of the uh, the oocysts in the stomach wall progress down to the salivary glands. The reason that these are so hard to find it is that, th that this slide was prepared by dissecting out mosquito salivary glands and then crushing them and uh, staining them. The, the nuclei associated with each one of these sporozoites, and this th there are probably several hundred uh, sporozoites here, and they th they're all kind of stuck to this piece of debris with their noses and so um, the anterior ends are all located towards the center. Here's at the end of the pointer here's one that's that's kind of stuck off by itself a little bit more and you can see the the nuclear the purple nucleus on the on one end very very thin and then the other end without the nucleus appearing less purple. And if you think about it, in order to get several hundred of these into a mosquito salivary gland, they would have to be quite small. And this is uh, a view seen th through the 100x oil immersion lens. This is the end of the presentation for uh, this particular lab.